This is your first time in Sacramento? No. No, you not mine. No. Second or third, I want to say. Okay. Yeah, maybe hmm. third. It's my first time. It's your first time. Yeah. Well, today is the second time. Yesterday was first. Oh yeah. Uh, there you go. If you want to count <laughs> that way, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, how has it been going? What's been going on? Autographs. Autographs. Lots yeah. of autographs. Very awesome, fun people. Yes. Thank you so much for showing up. It's been really, really fun chatting with you guys individually. I know you always like, uh, I don't know about you, but and I've been doing this for a long time, but I always think, oh my God, nobody's going to want to come talk to me. I'm always the same way. I'm like, like oh my God, do you want to talk to I'm me? I'm going to be sitting there all by myself. Yeah, I'm the same way, exactly. But I'm newer, so like, right. you have no reason to feel like that. I do. No, no. <laughs> Michelle, who? Uh, yeah. no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But so we have we have the folks here. We have a microphone up here. This is Kevin. Hi, if Kevin. If you guys have questions, and please ask questions, ask all the questions you want. We'll just have you guys line up at the microphone. This is your show. We're here for you. So please ask questions. Uh, thank you guys for coming to Sac Anime. Uh, I was curious, what was your favorite part about working on Catherine? I have so many favorite parts. Go, you go first. One of my favorite parts was doing the scene where you and Laura are coming after Vincent with like the weaponry and I like going to save Vincent, but I, because I got to see that whole scene, so I saw me being like bludgeoned to death by Catherine with a C first. It was ridiculous. And then another one of my favorite parts, which was really cool, which doesn't really ever happen that often, is we actually got to not have to worry about ma matching lip flaps. They were going to reanimate to our lips, which was really nice. So we would chase picture, they would have the video up, and we would voice the lines, but not have to worry about the lip flaps because they were going to reanimate. We that could actually like do our own interpretation yeah. of the scene rather than having to stick to technical. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like prelay, original prelay. Yeah. Basically. How about you? What was your favorite part? Um, <clears throat> Especially like I want to hear like you know, the first time you recorded versus now and how right, that was. Right, right. Well, I can tell you from the very first time I recorded, the, the video game itself in this particular character was very emotional yeah. for me. Like, from the get-go, I was going through some personal stuff in my life, and I really put a lot of those emotions into the performance of this character. So... Um, it was kind of cathartic and therapeutic in a way. Uh, and the fact that we were working and we got to work with a female director. Yeah. Valerie Aram from PCB, I think, is, was another one of my favorite parts of recording this particular video game just because the content was so intense. So having that girl power together really helped to, to get through it, helped me to get through it. Yeah. So. Oh, my turn? Good oh, question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what was your favorite and what part? what was your favorite? <laughs> oh, my. Hi. 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 Uh, so, finding out that uh, Ren was not only, you know, just like an angel, an alien, but a boy for Vincent, um, was that, um, did that, like, make it more fun for you to voice her, uh, or him, or did that, like, make it more challenging? Um, for me, like as an actress, I'm sure you're going to say that you would say the same thing. It's really a, just about personality traits. It's about being, I want to say human, but then the alien thing kind of avoids that. But it's about being a person or having a soul or, you know, mm -hmm. your own story and everything. It's not about whether it's a boy or a girl or an alien or a human. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for me, it wasn't really a challenge because I just had to be this thing this heartwarming um shy person that's like on this like really strong story of growth those are all things that have nothing to do with gender or anything yeah. else you know what i mean yeah so it was inconsequential but i did think it was funny that yeah <laughs> like it was kind of like crazy i was like oh what do you all find out <laughs> yeah <laughs> vincent's reaction was very funny yeah it was <laughs> thank you of course hi there hi this question's mainly for Michelle. Um, what was it like revisiting your character as Kay Catherine with all the new characterizations but through the cutscenes of the new ending? That's a good question. Um, well, it was fun because I feel like 
I mean, no spoiler alerts, although you, you said it, I felt like I had some retribution to, for, you know, for all the crap that Vincent pulled. Mm. So it was nice to be able to get that out, you know, take that out. Um, and then it was also great, like with all of the different endings, to see everybody happy, mm-hmm. you know, in the end and living their lives and, you know, being who they want to be. And no judgment, like with Vincent and Rin, like ending up together in, the, in the fi- one of the final scenes. I don't know. It just, it's, it, it wasn't definitive, like having, you know, being able to play through and getting to different points. Yeah, I felt that Catherine, Kay Catherine got a lot more justice in the reboot. She what? She got a lot more justice. Yes, exactly. She did. She, she got justice for the way that things kind of turned out the first time. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. Hi, uh, this is a question for, um, for both act- uh, actresses. What was um, a show or gig that you're, it's your personal favorite to voice act in? Games. What was your personal Yeah, including favorite? games. For uh, favorite games we voice acted in? Mm-hmm. Um, I would say Crystar because it was like super emotionally intense and kind of dark. Um, definitely Catherine Full Body because it was so delightful and quirky and fun and weird. <laughs> like it's so rare you get to do something that like weird and like fun. And, um, oh, it's so hard. Oh, my gosh. I, I like know. It's very hard to it's, pick. It's, it's like, like picking a favorite child. It right? really is. Yeah. Because, like, you love different things about each role, each game. Each like, character, like, yeah. Yeah. It's hard. It's it hard is. To I mean, I, I would p- put Catherine up there for me. And then um, I loved doing Jill Valentine in Resident Evil. I thought that was, like, it was so great to play such a badass character, and I just felt like she was sort of, um, which I found out this is true afterwards, sort of fashioned after Sigourney Weaver from Aliens. Really? Yes. Yeah, she sort of had, and I did a, um, a recent interview with this um, podcast from England, Crimson Head Viper, and um, I was like, you know, they were asking what what a part of Jill Valentine and the characters that I love so much and I was saying well I just feel like she was she's such a badass you know she for me she was one of the most she's one of the most badass characters I've played um and having and I just felt like that connection to Sigourney Weaver and to you know Linda Hamilton from Terminator like that you know original, oh, yeah. like the OG badass girls from, you know, 90s movies. So 80s and 90s movies. So that's, that would be mine. All right. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Good question. Hello. Hi. So if you were to be one of the sheep, like from the puzzle sections of the oh, game, no. <laughs> what would the sheep look like or what traits would it have? I want a sheep, by the way. I didn't know that they were giving away sheep with the order, with this oh, pre-order. Yeah. yeah. I've gotten bummed about that. I don't know. Like, what would I look... If, if I was one of the sheep, what would it look like? Sure. Um, it would have pink hair and wings, and it would play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would have really long eyelashes and combat boots. Okay. <laughs> Thank and maybe, very- like, red lips. I don't know. Just because. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much. We could ask for anything. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So, I heard last night, I was at your panel last night, and that it was difficult to get the original cast back for this game. I was wondering Only if because you- it, was, it was non-union at first when I originally got the casting. Okay, and I was just wondering about what that process was to get that role again. Sure. Oh, get that role again. Go ahead. Yeah, both both of you. What it was like to get the role, and of course you getting it a second time because they. I heard they tried to replace the cast. Is that true? Yes, I auditioned for Catherine with a C and Rin. I did not audition for yours. (laughs) Um, But yeah, it was a really weird process. I I don't know what it looked like for you on your end. I've actually never been in this situation before, but I got the casting for Catherine with a C and Rin, and I knew immediately what this game was because it's a cult classic. Um, so originally, I was hoping to get 
Catherine with a C because she's such a big character and I didn't know who Rin was. Maybe she's some side girl. So I was like, oh, I really hope I book Catherine. And um, I booked it. I got an email that said, oh, okay, you got a role. And I was like, well, can I ask who I booked? And they're like, Rin. I'm like, oh, okay. And then it, it went union and Catherine with a C and you guys all came back and everything. So I'm like really, ha and I found out Rin is such an amazing character. So I was like, oh, I'm actually really happy I got Rin. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's Rin, the, the game is really, sent, it's based off of, yeah. the new, of, based off of her. So, I mean, not completely, but, no, 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 but it's I hear very you. centric. It's the new part. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, the initial time, um, I believe that I was chosen from the, uh, you know, from the producers and the directors that they, I didn't audition the first oh. time, I was just given the part. Um, and this time they came back to me and said, are you interested in reprising your role? And I said, yes. Um, and then I didn't hear anything and then a bunch of stuff happened and all of a sudden I'm in the studio and we're doing the game. I mean, I didn't... It was you, you know, and it was Union, and the original cast was all back together. So I, I wasn't really privy to any of okay. the goings on behind the scene. Okay. Yeah. I was just, I was just curious because I know that that can be a very complicated process. So it's, it's a weird process. I feel like the casting process for video games and anime is so different for each game and anime, and like. This is such a unique situation where something was, they were trying to go non-union and they had to go union to get the people back. And, right. and it's unusual. I mean, I, back in the day, I'm a lot older than whippersnapper over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, I was a lot of times just given roles, you know, for shows and anime and video games. Now I have to audition and along with everyone else. So um, it's a little bit more of a process you know and I don't book like I used to just because there's so many other girls and you know as with anything and, and it happened with me I was the it girl for a while you know what I mean now I'm not the it girl anymore I mean I'm still in there but you know Brianna's the new up-and-comer and there's a bunch of other girls that are the new up-and-comers so and there's also studios that kind of go through phases like yes. you're the it girl now and now we're into this person oh yes. wait I remember you exist so then they come and then back you fall to you. off the radar for a while and they're like oh let's bring in Michelle or let's yeah. bring in Brianna who knows how it works like they remember you they forget you they get excited about this person then they remember you exist it's so weird <laughs> we have such weird lives yeah, it's a very strange existence. Uh, yeah. So. Well, thank you very much. Of yeah, course. thank you. Hi. Um, what was your favorite ending from the video game? Uh, from either the original one or from Full Body? Well, for me, my favorite ending was, of course, the ending where, like, Vincent turned out to be Rin's manager and she like had a music career. I thought that was so cute and adorable. I just like died. That was good. I didn't see that. Oh, you have to look it up. It's so cute. Yeah, yeah. that's cute. I like that. I mean, that ending, the one ending I remember is where we're all at the party together and I don't know if it's your I think engagement. that's what that is. Oh, is that what that was? I thought I for some reason think. it was your is, engagement Am I in a blue party? dress? Yeah. I think it's something like that. Well, I think maybe it's an engagement party, but he's the manager and I'm a musician. And oh, I don't know. I didn't There's know something... how that worked. I, just, I don't know either. The vibe was great, so that was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's Rin's engagement party and uh, uh, her thank uh, you. manager. <laughs> but that's also uh, Vincent, uh, her music manager. Perfect. So we were, uh, okay. Yeah. okay. Did you sing? No. Yeah. Sadly. Uh, oh, too bad. She played piano. Okay. Yeah. It would have been fun for Oh, my God. I would have lost yeah, my mind. would have been great. I love singing, and I've started, like, my music career. So I, it, my next goal, like, my bucket list item is to do a character where I can actually sing, too. What kind of music? Uh, I do, like, electronic pop. Oh, cool. Yeah. We'll have to check it out. <laughs> check out Brianna's music. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, this question is for both of you. Uh, oh. What future projects would you be interested in doing? Well, I spoiled that already because I just sent the music and... Uh, well, it could be hypothetical, you know, something like a dream sure, project sure. maybe. <clears throat> I'd also say like a survival horror game because I love survival horror so much. So I want to be like the final girl, okay. you know? Okay. I want to survive the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> 
Oh boy, for me, I just, um, let's see, there's so many things I want to do. I, last year, I produced and created my own show called My Thuggy Pony um, for YouTube. It's a puppet show. And that for me was like, it's really, it was really close to my heart because I wanted to put my hand in the producing and directing kind of foray just to say, just to see if I could do it and pull something together, which I did. And I think as a creative person, it's like, you know, you get to a certain point in your career and you want to challenge yourself, you know? So I'm just looking for new challenges, however they present themselves. I don't want to say no to anything or mm -hmm. pick something specific because I'm really open to whatever, you know, new things that can help me to grow to another level. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. At the end of the game, do you ever feel like Vincent got off too easily? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he always gets off too easily. You know, the first time we recorded, I was like, do, do women really put up with it like this? Right? I kind of had that same thought. Right? Yeah. I'm like, why is this guy allowed to get, to get away with anything he wants to it's weird it is weird which yeah. is why i so enjoyed like the whole scene with us yeah you know <laughs> but um yeah what was the question <laughs> if, if vincent got off too easily yeah did you think so yeah i got one with Catherine with a k and i thought she deserves better than this Aww. Yeah, uh, we're all better than that. Yeah. Trust me. Girls, we are all better than yes, that. Yes, anybody, anybody <laughs> who's in a relationship like that, just please know that you are better than that. <laughs> Thank Nobody you. deserves that. Yeah. <laughs> this turns into like a relationship panel. Yeah, exactly. Get out. Leave him, girl. Leave him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not all bad. <laughs> so for me, playing the game, the message that I got from it was your actions have consequences. Your choices have consequences. Mm. So I was curious, for either of you, was there an overarching like moral or message that you took or found in the game? Wait, what was the last part of the that? last part? Yeah. Moral. Oh, was there a uh, moral or an overarching message that either of you found in the game? That we got from the game? Yeah. Like, don't screw I don't up. Know, like morally, for me, like Rin was just like such a growth-focused character, like becoming who she is, like and following her dreams and be and learning who she is and remembering who she really is in her heart. So for me, it was like a growth-based thing. I didn't really get any moral messages out of it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really either. Um, I mean, for me, the process of the game and the, and the second game with full body, with um, you know the controversy over Rin is Rin being a boy and the acceptance of that and, you know, just being open to, uh, I don't know, just being open-minded, you know, which I am anyway, like I, I, I don't care what people's sexuality is, I love everyone just the same, but having it in a video game, mm -hmm. I thought was, was cool. Um, and I know there was some controversy with the Japanese version, and I believe they changed some of the dialogue. Oh, did they? I, I didn't even know. I believe they did. Um, Atlas made some changes because of um, there was some negativity towards you know transgender. I think stuff. I do remember that. Does yeah, sound familiar. there was like a big thing on the internet, and we weren't supposed to talk about it. But yeah. um, you know, I can say now that it was addressed. And I think they Absolutely. addressed it properly. So yeah. I thought that was, for me, that was like, that's, a that's good pretty point. cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. Does cool. anybody else have questions? Yeah. We don't well, bite. Come on back. Rough. <laughs> now, being, I, I honestly haven't played the game, but it sounds like there's a lot of very mature subjects in the game to be dealt with. How, okay. how has going through the game, I mean, being a part of something like that, and bringing those ideas forward and dealing with mature subjects. I mean, how is that? Does that affect you guys in a daily life? Does that change your outlook on things? I know you said that it doesn't matter to you, which is fantastic. But has that changed your outlook in other aspects of life because of being involved in a game like this? I mean, for me, um, I was already there. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would hope that maybe the game would change 
an aspect of someone's life who's playing it, or maybe who don't, didn't have an open mind about it, and yeah. afterwards would think, oh, okay, maybe I'm, I'm, I can be okay with that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I was kind of raised in a similar way where it's just very open-minded, like we don't see race, like I never had any prejudice against anybody for anything. So it just wasn't really something that was in my, on my mind. But yeah, people playing the game, who knows, it may have affected some change in the world, Yeah, which would be great. Oh, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, I was going to ask, um, have you guys played the verse, mo- verse mode at all in either Catherine game? And did you know that there's tournaments for it? Have it. <laughs> did you know that there are tournaments for the game? I did not know. Oh, <laughs> really? Is that, is that what you asked? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I, I was wondering if you've like, seen any of the tournaments or played the verse mode at all in Catherine. No. Oh, no, I, I haven't. Is it fun? Should we? Oh. Should we? Yeah, yeah. Look, look it up. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I have to be honest with you. I am terrible at playing video games. Really? All video games? Have you tried well, like a range? not Pac-Man or, <laughs> you know, Gal- Galaga or Centipede. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, am, I, am, I have it on good authority that Brianna loves killing zombies. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure it's she true. could walk you, you through. Have you played Resident Evil? <laughs> oh, of course. I grew up on Resident Evil. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. She's, I, I have tried to play very, very poorly, but um, I would play it. Like, I'd love to play through. I just need somebody to show me. Yeah, it's stressful. If the game is too stressful and hard, I'll watch somebody play the game if I want to see it. Like, a cinema, like, oh, I'm watching a movie being played, but... Um, yeah, full, full disclosure, I actually couldn't get through Resident Evil 3. It was too scary. Nemesis scared me so much. I, like, had heart palpitations. I couldn't do it. That's funny. I couldn't do it. It was too scary. You're like, nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, this is for Michelle. Uh, how is it like working for Atlas? They're wonderful. Yeah, I mean, there's project, you know, project managers for each individual video game. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, everybody's a personality and, you know, but they, I think at this point in in my career, you pretty much know what you're going to get, you know, Mm -hmm. in a a sense that I'm going to bring something to the table. And I think most of the producers I work with know that. So it's, it's usually a pretty easy process, you know, and fun. You know, I feel like being in the booth um, with people who, you know, we, can, we have a, a certain sense of mutual respect. It makes it really fun because then you can trust each other and just go through the process. And so, like just kind of play. Yeah, and play. And that's kind of what I feel like with Atlas, you know, it's fun. Thank you. Yeah. So when you're uh, when you're going through the game, there's a lot of bosses that are really freaky, like the baby and like the the floating heads, and even when you're like fighting, you know, the final boss in the game, you know, uh, the the barman, he's pretty freaky looking. Uh, which one of them freaked you out the most, if any of them? I haven't, pl- I haven't played the game. I haven't oh, you either. Haven't? Uh-uh. Have you have seen no- any clips of them? Uh-uh. None of them? I started playing it, but it's so hard. I can't. I've never done a pe- puzzle game before, and it's, really? like, killing me. I'm, like, I, my brain doesn't get it. Yeah, it's, I'm, like, give me, give me a gun and zombies, and I will get it in the head. But, yeah. like, puzzles? I'm, like, wait, what? <laughs> what? Don't worry. I feel the same way. I'm, I'm horrible at puzzles. Yeah. I mean, look, I know from the first... Are you trying, is this? It's in both of them. It's in both of them. I know from the first game when we were recording, I did see some of the characters and they were pretty weird. Yeah. So, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. That, that is freaky. Yeah. But the game itself, like it didn't surprise me Mm -hmm. per se, just because I know the game itself is really crazy and it takes so many different turns. So I, I think it was just kind of par for the course. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, not to spoil, but one of the bosses is Catherine with a K in a bridal gown chasing Vincent up. Whoa! Oh, yeah. And it's freaky and kind of messed up. I oh think my I God. And I love that. that. 
And she's like covered in, you know, blood, chasing and screaming. It's yeah. great. That's wild. Yes, I remember that scene. You remember, I remember that, that scene? They, yeah. yeah. That would be fun to voice. Did I you have fun did. voicing that? I think voice- we, I, she has the voices. Yeah, I think yeah. we did some screaming or something you for did? that. Yeah. I believe so. I, I, I think there was because it's, it's pretty great. <laughs> Well, I hope you get to see it when you play it because you'll I'm love gonna it. have to find somebody who plays who plays the game and yeah. just sit and watch it. <sighs> or YouTube playthroughs. YouTube play yeah, through. there's a bunch of YouTube playthroughs. Yeah, yeah. Um, look them up because they're great. Okay, you like it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. But the question I had was about uh, the director of the game, like was the vo- your voice director. So I, yes, I know that she's directed a lot of Atlas games, and uh-huh. I've followed her on a lot of the different games that she's voiced, and I always love the direction that she takes it, and I just wonder what it was like working with her. Do I, <laughs> um, she's just like such a cool person, and I always like working with women directors. I don't know why, just I feel like I can shoot the proverbial shit a little bit more, part of my French, um, but... I don't know, she's just such a nice person and she always knows, she gives you like really good direction. So like if I'm here, she knows exactly how to get me, like she'll give me useful direction, not like make it more orange. She'll be like, well, this, she'll give me like an emotional acting reason and I'll be like, oh, perfect. I I totally get that. Well, Valerie and I have been friends for a very long time. She's a goddess. Like I look up to her. Um, she just, she's like this, this, she's like everybody's mommy, first of all. She is. Um, so, you know, you walk into the studio and she just envelops you in like a huge hug and love and, hi honey, you know, come on in. Very easy going. Um, I, I just feel like I'm taken care of when I'm in the booth with her, mm-hmm. you know? And it's, it's that freedom, it gives you that freedom to be able to go where you need to go, even with such difficult characters, I think, as these. Um, and I always love working with her. Like for me, uh, hands down, just one of the best experiences. You know, she directed Persona too. Yes. Persona 5 and Persona 3, so. Uh, you know, just getting to work with her is, I just love it. Oh. She's incredible. Yeah. yeah. I, I hope I get the chance to meet her as well someday because. Oh, you what? I hope I get the chance to meet her as well someday because. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just amazing. Work. Yeah, she's, she's a love bug. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody? I think he's uh, screening that one right there. Oh, okay. Oh. Is there, a, uh, is there a dream project that either of you would want to work on? Something that may be coming down the pipes or something that you would hope that would happen? Well, I did audition for something recently that I probably didn't book, but I wish that I would have. <laughs> but I can't say what it is. Oh. It's always how it is. Yeah. Always how it is. It's the name of the game. Yep. <laughs> man, oh, man. Um, probably what I... I'm going to repeat myself, sorry, but like Miyazaki movie or a zombie like survival horror game. Now, what if they did a Resident Evil reboot and you got to play Jill Valentine? <laughs> that would be pretty it wild. It could happen. It could happen. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wild. I was just wondering, what is your favorite moment that you can remember in the booth? in your career most memorable moment in the booth yeah well when i went in to go and record that scene the scene we've been mentioning a bunch where C- Catherine with a c is immediately bludgeoning uh rin on the screen they had already queued up the video and they were ready to play it for me so i wasn't in the booth yet so i saw and it was rin and she had her mouth open like this and so i just i don't know why i had to i felt the need to so i just go, went like Ah, ah. It was like very, and I like videoed the screen and everybody was just dying laughing. That's my favorite moment. That's cute. Um, let's see, favorite moment or most memorable moment? Uh, it could be either. There's just something that comes to mind. Well, okay. I, I did a show a long time ago called um, Chi or Chobits. 
Oh, I watched, I watched that when I was, yeah. Okay, so I played <laughs> Chi. And I remember when we, like the very first recording session, I was, it was with Eric Sherman at Bang Zoom when he was still directing. And the producer was in the booth with us. And um, they had such a specific sound that they wanted from her. And I know like if you are, were to watch the series, you wouldn't think that it was that difficult, but it literally was like, it took us like two hours to set her voice. Wow. Because they, and, and I was like, oh my God, I'm just not getting it. He wanted like this, like, it would be like, you know, standing on one foot, tapping your head and like, you know, bouncing around in circles all at the same time. Like it was this very strange direction where, you know, they he wanted it to sound like it was, my tongue was hitting the top of my mouth, but it had to come through my nose and it needed to be very light and airy. And like finding that positioning tonally because the first, you know, 11 episodes, all she says is, so it had to be so specific. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to just kill myself. Oh, <laughs> no. I could, like, we finally got it. And it, you know, but it took us a while to like set the, that. And I was like, are you so stressful? I was so stressful. I was like, are you freaking kidding me right now? Like, what else do you want me to do? Stand in my head while I say, gee, like, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> Wild. Oh, wow. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, did you like dubbing for the original Catherine better or the um, the remake? Well, the remake, I, I mean, it was kind of the same for me, the same mm. process, but the remake, um, as Brianna said, we, we, it was basically like original prelay. Uh, we didn't have to worry about lip sync because they were going to animate to, they animated to our voices. Um, which is fun. I always love doing original animation because you have a little bit more freedom in your performance. You don't have the res time restrictions of lip sync, uh, you know. So the, the second half was a little bit more fun for me, I think. Mm -hmm. and, and also because, you know, I had gotten through a lot of the emotional content in the first game and the second, the second part was really just all out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Uh, I wanted to know what is the weirdest voice or scene you've ever been asked to do? The weirdest voice. The weirdest voice or well, scene. Showbiz sounded pretty. That was weird. Did yeah. you have anything weirder than that? I have. <laughs> it's like a support group. Hi, Michelle. I've had to do weird voices. Hi, Hi Michelle. <laughs> I'm like trying to think. Weird voices. Weird. I, let's see. I'm trying to remember the show that I did. It wasn't a weird voice, but I had to play this little five-year-old boy who was being, um, I, I'm sorry, this is really just very dark. Uh, he was being killed by a monster, and uh, it was like it was like a five. I think I was the session was like 15 minutes in total, maybe a half an hour. But I came out of there and I was like wrecked, and I said to myself, "I will never do that again." Like, don't ask me to play a child being. Killed. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, I was like, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Aw. Yeah, no. I can't think of any, like, weird voices. I don't, I'm not, there's, like, some people that are, like, amazing at doing all these crazy voices, and uh, they do impressions, and they can voice animals. I don't have, like, a big Rolodex of character voices. You know, I kind of live in my range, and my range is kind of, like, here. So I don't really do a lot of, like, weird voices. You know what I mean? I did a voice for Hotel Transylvania, the last um, vacation one. And uh, the, the one lady that I did do was kind of a weird, she was like, oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, it's a Kraken. Oh my God, that's great. <laughs> oh, I love Is it. Is that a Kraken? 
<laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I, I believe we're at time. So, ladies, thank you Aww. so much for being here. Thank you for coming thank to you. SAC Anime. Thank you guys thank you for guys making the show. For